Hey there YouTube, welcome back to King's Court, and this is Hunt Showdown. Um, I have another video I'm, ma I'm working on where I've grabbed a lot of different information. Uh, which I'm going to talk a little more about you know, whether it's worth to buy, um, dive into this. Uh, kind of going along with my uh, uh, appraisal to say like, what do I really rate it? Uh, at least for current state, right? Because uh, I mean, this is still... I think this is actually technically beta now. Uh, they closed down their alpha, but they did so so quickly. I'm not really sure if it is in beta. It might still be in alpha. Um, so, a couple things to note is uh, you have a bloodline, uh, and all this is actually they're really uh, good about having like videos and stuff like that to help explain. Um, and actually, before they even got into this, uh, like. Uh, their beta te or I'm sorry alpha testing stuff like that they were they were actually having videos from their devs and stuff to explain that stuff so you have a bloodline and the bloodline as you continuously rank you'll start to unlock more um, so like you'll see here my bloodlines halfway through and then I can actually unlock at four I'll unlock the firebomb uh, which then you have hunters so you'll see here I actually have three hunters you actually start out with none so they're going to start you out with 666 for your dollar value. Uh, again, this is a horror game uh, with survival uh, principles to it. So uh, nice touch. Um, so you can actually go into your recruit and then it'll show you a list of hunters that are available for you to buy. Uh, so you'll see here like uh, a guy with a single action shotgun, which actually I'm probably going to go ahead and buy him because he's really cheap. Uh, starting out, uh, I, I did like the shotgun. Uh, it's not super powerful. Uh, you run in a lot of cases where you, you have to use your pistol based on you know, range. Uh, but the nice part is some of the harsher monsters, they get knocked down by the shotgun. That, that helps keep you uh, alive because they, they can do so. So you'll see there, I just I just uh, recruited Raphael. Um, and now you'll see like I have options of like I can add down tools, uh, but Raphael is level one, so you'll see there is no actual level up. But you'll see, like, hey, Terry Norris, for example, I've already got him to level six, um, and I had upgrade options. You can see I can add on like 25 hit points. I can add on 50 hit points. 50 hit points cost quite a bit. Uh, the other part they have is you have traits, but you'll see to unlock those traits, you have to earn certain ranks. It keeps going on, right? So like 93 is the last one they have on here. So that's that's a lot to earn your. Uh, your bloodline right uh, so with that said so each one that as you go through um, a match if you do survive and you do get experience uh, as you level once you reach a certain marker like a milestone um, for that amount of experience that's that then gives uh, experience towards your bloodline and it levels up your bloodline so one of the things I did want to show here though is you'll see I'm, I'm down to like one guy and I'm like well yeah, you know, he's got a firebomb, and he's got a cool weapon, and he's got the two health bars, but really, I, I want to see, can I get other options? So, you'll see here, I can do new recruits, um, and you'll see I have to play a mission to then unlock even more new recruits, or, or an option to basically cycle, and that's the key thing to bear in mind here, is that does cycle it. So, right now, th these are what I got, right? Um, looking at it, I'm actually probably going to buy Gentleman here. The milk wolf. Um, I was testing out the machete. And it is it is great. Uh, it actually gives you the potential to melee things uh, with one hit, um, which with a power hit. Right? So typically, like for example, you can use the butt of any gun. Uh, so like even the Winfield, you can basically uh, hold left click and it'll charge it, and then you'll actually uh, power hit them. It takes two to kill most of the smaller uh, monsters. So I'm going to go ahead and buy him too, because uh, one of my questions was, can I actually get five? It turns out, yes, I can. So, for this run, I'm going to go ahead and use Raphael, uh, mainly because, you know, he was very cheap. So if I do lose him, I'm not really too worried. Uh, bear that in mind, too, is like, when you're, when this game, or for this game, uh, if your character dies, so if you lose a match and you die, um, they're gone. They're, 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 they're dead. Uh, which is why you have like the bloodline uh, parts to this. 
And you'll see, like, you'll have the store too. So starting out, I have options. I could swap things around. Um, and then you'll see, like, here's that rank four. And actually, here's what I'm really hoping. Can't wait to get to the the Romero 77 hand cannon. Because uh, again, like I said, shotguns are really nice uh, to be able to knock targets down. Um, for me, I would personally like to have a rifle as my primary, and then my secondary is that shotgun, so that I can uh, basically swap knockdown and still have something that does high damage um, with accuracy. So here I'm going to go ahead and play. And then right now you'll notice uh, you have different contracts. So you have a daytime contract, which is you either the butcher or the spider, uh, and then you have nighttime. I personally like nighttime, especially if you're going to potentially do solo, uh, because nighttime makes it harder for people to find you. And unless you're, like, for example, unless you're really trying to go for the boss, for that bounty, um, you can technically go through the stage without, and then leave the stage without actually getting that bounty, uh, which means that you get experience. But every hint will give you money as well. So every hint is worth 25 and then you have the bounty that's 150. Now, the, the bounty is a lot, obviously. Especially when you saw that I just bought this guy for like 37. But with that in mind, if I run this and I actually get two hints, I will have made my money back, um, even if I lose this guy. Uh, so I'm going to actually go for the spider. And then you'll see here there's the region selection. So... Uh, this part, I don't know if a lot of people paid attention. It does seem like lately uh, trying to get into a match with these. Like, for example, I'm, I'm really like US Central. When I try to do US Central, I don't actually get into a match. When I do US East, it takes a little while, but to, I will eventually. And this is one of the things I thought was weird. So you'll see here, I actually told it, yeah, and then it's still waiting. I have to tell it again to hit like the start. Um, I think it's some kind of transition between two. And then I'll come into this where you'll see, okay, now it's searching, which actually, uh, hey, this is great. It actually found one right away. So that, that tells me there might be more people playing. That makes me a little happier. So while this is loading, uh, I wanted to show this. There's this map. This So the idea is the outer ridges is where everyone spawns. And essentially, there's probably about 20 different locations in those, those outer ridges. Now, the boss spawns in any one of the, like, the buildings that were located there. So like you'll see, it's I think it's like nine, nine different possible locations where the boss will spawn. Um, and then throughout the stage, there's monsters randomly generated. Um, and on top of that, there's also loot, uh, which I shouldn't say loot, it's more ammo and health, right? So there's uh, that type of loot, right? So uh, yeah, really it's just ammo and health. So that's also randomly placed throughout the stage. So the key things with this game, uh, if you're not really sure, you know, what is Hunt Showdown? Hunt Showdown is a survival or game uh, focused on teamwork. Uh, so you, you'll see, you'll notice, I came in solo, and it, it you actually are in a way are kind of punished for doing solo gameplay. So one, I will not have a teammate, uh, which means if I get down, I'm dead. That's it. Uh, if you have a teammate and you get downed, or if your teammate gets down, you, your other teammate can actually pick you up, uh, which is kind of like Revive You. Uh, of Set 4, uh, it's based on how much bars of health you have. So, for example, uh, the, the case where you saw like the little 25 uh, blips of health, the nice part about that is if I had like, let's say, three of those, and then I had a, like a, a, let's say a 50 bar, um, I technically can go down four times, or yeah, I can go down three times before I am officially dead, dead. So on the fourth time, I would actually die. Uh, whereas, it, let's say I had two 50s, well, it might be hard to get me into the other 50, but if I did get down, um, I only have one more time. So like once you pick me up, I only have one more chance. So uh, every match, when you get in, uh, bear in mind, there are only 10 players, no matter what. So it could be five teams of two, because there are no larger team than two in this game. 
and then that's what makes it a little different because like you'll see i spawn here and this is what i was saying like there's a lot of different spawn spots and you'll see on the map here there's like these circles with arrows those are actually the extraction points those are places i can get out at so for example uh, i could technically go towards like the graves and then make my way south probably get some ammo maybe do pitching and then hopefully leave uh, but it also depends on where the hints are so like throughout the stage there will be hints uh, that i can only see by using uh, my like shadow mode which is i'll do this right away so right away i'm gonna hit e and go into shadow and you'll see that blue little blinking those those are the hints now i have to be careful this game's really built on uh, like the premise of sound see already there's two guys I don't technically advise using guns pretty early. Especially when you miss like that. But I'm also... Oh. And you'll see I hear someone to the right. Yeah. So I know there's players out that direction. And it did sound relatively close too. That's the other thing to keep in mind. So here's where I'll talk about I can do a power hit. Oh, I oh, miss. It's not good when you miss. I don't know why I keep missing. Alright, hold on. So, that said, so you'll see I'm also bleeding. You don't stop bleeding unless you actually uh, basically bandage yourself up with the full bat. And then once you've done that, you'll see like I'm starting to regain my health. So, that could have gone better. I'm not sure why I was missing so often. It really should not have been that difficult. I normally don't have that big of a problem, but here we go. So we're going to power hit this guy. Got to kind of tow a bit. What happened? Yep. Okay. Oh. Like I said, there's random stuff around. Now, bear in mind, like, so, like, for example, that barrel right there. That barrel is a danger because it is actually explosive. You can use it to your advantage against monsters, but it can also just as easily against you if another player sees you next to it. And it will most likely probably kill you in uh, one shot. I've actually seen it kill some of the bigger monsters. Alright, so I know that there's guys apparently coming from that side. I also know that I heard guys coming from that direction. It tells me they might actually be for that hand. Here's a perfect example of a very dangerous. So right there, you'll see the hive. It's like a lady with bees and stuff. It will actually poison you. Oh. Well. Now you'll see I was aiming for her head. It actually sounds like something close by.
after the guy is found. Big guys, cut off. This is why you want a shotgun. Oh, but you don't want dudes like that. So right now the issue is I'm burning. You'll see the burning. It's actually leaving like a different type of mark on. So my health there, pretty messed up. Essentially showing you all the things you don't really want to have to do. The one, any player can come up behind me. Screw here. And now I have this big heavy guy right here. Oh! Yep, just like that. And that's how quick it can go. So for example, I could have chosen not to go for the uh, the hint right away, because I did hear that there's people to my right and people to my left, and as I got closer to the hint, I also heard that people were getting closer. Um, and then, like I said, starting out, it's not really that important. Uh, if you're looking to get money, sure, I get it, but starting out, it's actually beneficial to get the experience. Um, to help build towards. So you'll see here, okay, yeah, I died, I only got 45, and it goes directly. You'll see that it says I need like 200 ish to uh, basically get a half for this. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, you know what? Go ahead and run with this guy. Uh, so I'll go ahead and go solo again. Try this out. Not sure why it's taking clicks to get it actually. See if this one goes quick too, because uh, that was one of the problems I was having is matching play that quick. The first one was really quick. This one might take a little more time. So, uh, while we're waiting, give a couple bits of information. Uh, the gr like grunts, basically, like the, the lowest uh, monsters, which were the ones that you saw me basically uh, physically hitting, kill them, because they're not really that high of a danger, because they're, they're very slow, and every time that you hit them, um, they actually just draw back. Those guys, I think, are worth 10 experience. Uh, the Hive, I believe, is worth like 50 experience. The trick to them is their range. So uh, you'll hear them scream when, they kinda, when they've kind of when they spotted you. And then essentially if you're within range, they then send a swarm of bugs or bees or whatever it is that then poison you. Uh, and the poison, interesting enough, isn't really a lot of damage. It's more that it becomes really hard to see. And if you don't kill her, she just keeps like swarming you. And the, the, every attack in this game is really brutal. So every attack will do a significant amount of damage. So like um, pretty much at 25 hit points apiece. So if you only had, like for example, my guy currently has 100 hit points with 50 bar and 225s. So essentially I could take four hits. But if I didn't kill her for whatever reason, and it got into the third hit. Now I'm really hurting only heal up to the maximum of the bar for the damage that I took. Uh, the other guy that you saw was kind of like armored. Uh, 
got weird carapace stuff around them. Uh, they are worth, I think, uh, 50 as well. And they, their whole trick is they are very slow moving at first, but once they get within a certain range, you, they become increasingly faster. Uh, and it is, it is shockingly fast. So, uh, you don't really realize it until it's too late, typically. And then when they start beating on you, they do significant amount of damage and they do attack relatively quickly. Uh, which is why one of the, the cheaper ways to take them down is to use a shotgun. So basically shoot them with a longer range weapon, get them to start coming towards you, then use a shotgun as they get ready to charge you. Uh, they take full damage for the shotgun, and then on top of that, it knocks them over. By the time you reload, as long as you are backing up, you want to make sure you keep backing up. Um, but you'll have enough time to reload as you're backing up, and then they'll be sprinting you again, which you have enough time to aim and fire, and then basically rinse, repeat as many times as you need to kill them. Uh, but usually it's anywhere from three to four shots. Uh, there's an even bigger guy who's got like slugs and stuff on him. He takes a lot of damage. Um, it is worth 100, and I forget what he's actually called. But if you find, like, lanterns, um, or you have fire bombs or anything like that that can do a lot of damage over time, it is great to use against him, because it'll stop him, he'll sit there and just burn, um, and that's a good way to get some good experience. Uh, players themselves, I believe, are worth 100 or... 150 experience if you kill them. Um, each uh, each hint when you when you get those those are worth uh, 100 apiece with plus 25. Oh cool! I'm actually in between two extractions. Look at that. This guy. I have much better silent. So I have the machete on this guy. Specifically. Um, also on the map, so you see these wagons. Those are uh, locations where you can stock. And this one, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna go in here and probably kill some of these guys real quick, because I can actually do it silently. But I am gonna try to be a little safer if I'm hearing the gunfire and stuff like that. You see right there, that was three. Easy piece. I hear dogs. So you'll see this is health right there. One thing I do give the game a lot of credit. Oh.
fast. You also have to be very careful because of the sides of the building. There can be like, uh, the undead just laying on the ground looks like they're dead, but they're really not. I'm not sure what I did to make it so bright. Yeah, funny enough, I might have just uh, caused a glitch. See in there, it's a lot brighter. Gotta figure out my way. There's one clue. Alright. So I'll give an explanation of what that does. So the clue basically rules out a certain section of the map to tell you where you go. So I found this clue. That's a high right It does say that there's another clue out this way, so Waterhouse. I wanted to see if I could get one of them to pop up and kill you fight. Now one thing I will say that I'm kind of liking about study that I don't have to really worry about so I am very quiet overall now the certain things that give you away like the birds um, chicken coops will give you away there's a, have a thing full of dogs dogs will give you away I'm not sure how I feel about this graphic A lot of gunfire. Um, typically when you hear a lot of gunfire going back to back like that, um, it's either players fighting or it's even uh, the potential that they've already found the boss. Or actually, uh, now one thing to note, right? It's great to try to get these hints when you can, uh, but bear in mind once they actually down the boss, uh, the hints go away. So there is kind of like a timing, but that's dogs. And actually, I think this guy is one of them. 
pop up on me. Oh, guess not. Okay. Buggers. Oh, hey, cool. So it looks like the lightning might have jacked it up for me. One of the things that's really beautifully done in this game, you can actually take the time to get a good scope. And it's actually recommended to, uh, rather than putting yourself out in the open. In a lot of cases, it's actually not that hard to do work. White. And you'll see there, like, when I go into this, uh, different mode, you can't really see very well but anything upset for the, the uh, mark. That sounds like that's a gunshot out of direction. Here, there's a lot of gunfire going. They're fighting to the left somewhere. Like I said, if I heard gunfire, I want to play a little safer. So... One thing to bear in mind, it's always good to actually scope in. Scope in, but... Kinda like it. Direction. Yes. I'm not going to lie, I'm 100% sure about these bright blue lights. Right, I think they're flares. There's a tool people can use. Flares out like that.
Yeah, this might actually be a little more dangerous than I wanted to do. Essentially. Here I've gotten all three. Of the bot. Heads. Oh shit. I might have just hallucinated there. I could have sworn I saw a player looking right at me. So, alright, so now here's a case where that's actually an extraction right there. I heard all those gunshots. So all the players, I do believe, now know where to go. So, player is so crazy. Like I said, sometimes it's just good to get your... Get your stuff and go, right? So that would be 75, which is a bare minimum 300 experience, plus whatever else I kill. So I didn't kill any bigger monsters, but this lets me get out and also kind of shows um, good representation to the game. So here's a case where, you know, I'm, again, I'm solo. I hear a lot of gunfighting. Um, not necessarily in the best situation because I am on a level one hunter. I'd probably be a little beneficial if I had a couple more levels to make sure I had better hit points or better gear. So, this see right here. Okay, I got that one. Second, the clue. So, like I said, it's uh, 100 a piece, and then you'll see I'm also getting $25 per. It goes into grunt kills, and like I said, they're 10 apiece. So there's another 140. I did kill one hive, uh, which turns out those are 30. So that means the other guys are the ones that are 50. So you see right here, I needed 250 to get that right there, the bloodline. Bam. So that automatically bumped my bloodline to four, so now I have firebomb. Uh, which you see I had plus 470, so you'll see I'm 470 uh, for the next 500 experience, right? So if I were to get uh, about, let's say, 800 experience on this guy, which means like I'd have to do double what I just did, that would actually get me to blood rank 5 right out the door. Right? Cause the first one is 50, try that, this one is 500, and I just keep going. Uh, so here... So you see, okay, bam, I got my money back from the guy I lost, uh, and then some, right? So pretty good. And then if you go to back to the hunter, so now I have him as level four, I could actually upgrade and say, hey, I want you to get a health, another health bar, right? So he technically has these. Like I said, um, it's kind of nice uh, starting out, just get another. Um, I don't know what the max is. I think uh, it might actually be I can't do this. Yes. There you go. You'll see 150 is the max. So essentially, I cannot get another bar. Um, well, not another 50. I can't do a big bar. So there's a big bar, there's a small bar. So I can do this is the last one I can do. Once I have that, I'll be maxed health. Like I said, the way that they do the uh, knockdown stuff when you're team playing is each one of these. So like if I get killed the first time and brought back, I now permanently have lost this for that match. Uh, and then it keeps going. So that'll be one, two, three, four, and then on the fifth one, I'm dead. So then now, for example, like I, you know, I unlock firebomb, which means hey, I can actually buy a firebomb for twelve. Um, and then now, bear in mind, like when you buy it, it's it's a permanent type uh, equipment thing. So like. Basically, I would pay the twelve dollars. I would put firebomb on, let's say, uh, actually, yeah, let's say ML. So I would have a frag bomb, then I would have firebomb. Uh, but if I die, I lose everything he's got. Like I'm pretty sure I can actually unequip this here. 
So yeah, I can, I can remove it. Now he doesn't have it. And then I can be like, oh, you know what? You know, Terry Norris, man, he's my, he's my guy. He doesn't have one. I'll just go ahead and give him the frag bomb, right? Uh, you can totally do that. It's entirely up to you. Sit back on this. Boom. So and you'll see, they kind of show you like certain range, the amount of damage, um, melee with them. I don't know if I'd recommend frag in your hand, but totally up to you. So you see, it says throwable, it's explosion, and it has rending. Rending is pretty powerful. So that's the causing bleed only stop the bleed if you take the time to stop the bleed. Uh, which, like, for example, if you look at this, this also causes rending. That is, you'll see melee and heavy melee. This is why I'm able to take things down with one hit if I do the, po like the power hit, which is hold the left button for a while. And you'll see that I pull the machete all the way to the far left, and basically I'm doing a power strike. Um, and then, of course, like I said, it also gives rending so that Whereas, like, your guns, at least for what I have, I don't have anything that's... Um, you'll see that they have stealth ratings, so it tells you quiet or not, uh, which actually I think I have a hunter. Oh, show that rating better. Yeah, so for example, if you look at this one, the stealth on the, on the bottom there is really high, uh, but it's it's not perfect. It's not saying entirely stealth. Uh, and you'll notice, like he has, he has a trait. So, so oh, he can actually carry four. So you can actually get to a point where you, know, you got a guy really decked out. He's got a bunch of different stuff. It's like, hey, you know, I need that. well, I guess I can't. For example, different consumables I can get is I can have a vitality shot, a fire bomb, which I get like dynamite, dynamite sticks, stamina shot, frag bomb. So you see right here, um, and that's one thing to note, right? So like this frag bomb, drink twenty nine. But I got it, right? I got it when I bought, like, bought that guy. Uh, the same thing goes with other stuff, right? So it's a uh, concertina bomb, 97. If I get a hunter when I go full by buying, if I get one with it, I'd probably pick him up, right? And the same thing goes with like those traits. Bear in mind, some of those traits are pretty high. Right? Hard to get, well, I shouldn't say hard to get, but it will take a while to get then you can go ahead and uh, be like, you know, I'm gonna spend the 180. Um, for those that are concerned about, well, you know, what if I'm just not doing very good or I get a really bad streak, um, and before you know it, I have no money. Uh, that's okay. Uh, they actually have it uh, built into the game uh, where if you come to buy a hunter and you don't have enough money for any of the hunters, they basically give you a free tier zero. Which tier zero means like. They're probably not going to have any trades. Um, they probably won't have very good gear. Like maybe I don't even know. It might just be that they just get one weapon, right? Uh, but what's nice about that is you take those guys through. Uh, they are the only ones that could actually tier up. So uh, that tier zero, once he gets enough experience points, can then tier up to tier tier one. Be just like these guys. Um, other than that, like you gotta keep your eye open for like a tier two or tier three stuff like that. I'm not sure, why this guy costs so much? See, that's the stuff that's kind of funny. So, like, pretty sure this gun's the same one. The Cadwell is the same. Oh, actually, no, it's not. This one's the conversion upper cut. Oh. You see, this one actually does more damage. Uh, control is actually a little less. It sounds like the... Yeah, it files more powerful rifle cartridges. Uh, one, oh, one of the things to note is some of these setups, like for example, this gun and this gun might be actually using the same bullets. Um, I don't know how you can tell in the game yet, but it's one thing to bear in mind. So like if, if um, you're noticing, hey, my swap over, it looks like my rounds are declining both. That's something to bear in mind. And I, I would recommend possibly unequipping one, uh, changing over uh, to a different type, right? So that way you don't run into that because it's, it's nicer to have two different weapon types so that you have 
uh, that ammunition. So you don't get a, a extra pouch, basically. So like, if this only gets 15 rounds and this gets like, I don't know, uh, 20, that you don't get anything extra. To, to me. Uh, okay. So I hope um, this was informative uh, for those that are interested in the game. Um, it's it's definitely interesting. I'm definitely, uh, I'm I'm enjoying it. But like I said, it's it has a heavier emphasis on multiplayer, uh, which is not a, a bad thing because uh, when you go to play, right, you can actually tell it, give me a random person that's also queued up, um, or you can just invite your own friend. Uh, one thing I should say though, there is voice chat in, in the game, but the design is that when using that voice chat, in a match, anyone who's close enough, enemy or not, can hear you. So it, it kind of makes you think about when to use comms and when not to. So the, idea, the idea is, uh, you got to bear in mind during this time, there's no radio or anything like that. So the only way that you can talk to each other by speaking out loud, right? Um, I have not seen a case where it seems to alert monsters, but I'm curious if they'll have that or include that at some point um, when it comes to it. But again, uh, this has been King's Court. I am Shrine King, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know what you think of the game. Let me know if, if you're excited about this game as I am, and if you find it to be very interesting intriguing in its design um, or let me know if you think you know man that's too harsh or it's too rough um, you know why would they do that and stuff and then let me know if there's particulars that you guys want to see me do um, in this right so like like I said I got to work on leveling a bit you know but if uh, you guys want to see a video where I actually take down um, the boss or attempt to I can, I can put that together as well all right thanks so much and I hope you all have a great day.